Hey everyone, welcome back to segment number two of making the Magdalena. Uh, so we've just finished creaming our butter and sugar. Uh, now the next step is to add in some EGGS, some eggs. So now I have, um, actually before that, we gotta scrape down the bowl just to get all the sides cleaned. Um, so yeah, scraping down the bowl, especially in baking, is extremely important because uh, pockets of flour or butter could easily hide in the sides of the bowl. So very important. Uh, at this point, the, mi the mixture should look kind of like wet sand-ish. Uh, now, you got the mixer. So we're gonna put it on relatively low speed. And then while we're mixing, so first we're gonna crack in the egg. And then we're gonna mix. And then we're just gonna keep doing that until all four eggs are fully mixed in. Just alternate between cracking in the egg and then mixing, cracking in the egg and mixing. Um, now, this recipe, uh, I've been wanting to do for a little while. So basically, um, I got this recipe from a friend of my grandpa's, uh, and or, or I got the book from them. And at my school, there's going to be a little competition. Um, and I, for the competition, I wanted to make this cake. Um, and because it just kind of, it checked all the boxes, it looked perfect for it. So I was like, hey, might as well. Uh, so this is for that contest. Uh, and I'm very excited to be able to share this with my, uh, my schoolmates. So, yeah. So just keep adding in the eggs and whipping it in. Adding the eggs and whipping it in. Um, yeah. So the reason why, um, the reason why it's important to kind of alternate and to not just throw it in all at once is because you could overwhelm the uh, the batter with just too much liquid. Uh, if you add too much liquid at once, it'll be really hard to build the emulsion again and get it back to the thick, creamy texture it was. So, and you can turn up the speed if you want a little bit. Make sure you don't go too high, otherwise you're gonna have a mess. Uh, trust me, I've learned that the hard way. So the next step is we're going to alternate from adding in uh, our dry mixture and our wet mixture. Now our dry mixture consists of flour, uh, three cups of flour, uh, two teaspoons of double acting baking powder, uh, half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Uh, you can really use any salt as long as it's half a teaspoon. Um, and yeah, uh, our wet mixture is composed of one cup of freshly squeezed orange juice and half a cup of uh, milk. It can be any milk really, uh, but preferably whole milk. So what we're going to do is just alternate between the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients. So add about or maybe a third if you're feeling, uh, if you're feeling spicy. So just add in a little bit. And then give that a little bit spin. And then add in a little bit of your wedding cream. And then just keep doing that until you're all out of your ingredients. to finish up mixing this up and we're gonna check it in the oven so i'll see you guys then bye bye